Well, the race for the White House was a brutal battle with candidates going toe to toe on the trail until the voters made their final choice on Tuesday. So, what were the moments that uh, one president elect Donald Trump the election? Former prize fighter and political analyst Rocky Rollins, Ed Rollins, who ran the uh, pro Trump super PAC Great America, has been helping us uh, track what was said this past uh, election season. And, Ed, you know what? Everybody got it wrong. The pundits, the pollsters, the press. Except you. Over the last two appearances, you said there's something going on in America, and he has a really good shot to win. How'd you do that? Uh, I just sense it. Uh, you know, I've, I've been doing this for 50 years, and, and obviously, uh, as I said before, I think we only have elections to make sure the pollsters are right, and obviously the pollsters were not right this time. And I've always, uh, I, I believe in polling. It's very important to a campaign. If the poll matches my gut, I believe it. If it doesn't match my gut, I go to another poll. Sure. But in this particular case, there was something going on in the country, and I think what happened is to many of the pollsters, they thought there was inevitability to, to Mrs. Clinton's presidency, and they underestimated the, 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 what the, the Trump movement. Sure. Plus, so many people have been Trump supporters, but, you know, they just didn't want to take the crap from the guy with well, the clipboard. Either that or, the, or from their neighbors. You yeah, know, uh, exactly. So. All right, so let's take a look at some of the sound bites Great. over the last week in the run-up to the election. Uh, first one, and you're going to tell us uh, who won each of them. Uh, the first one was on the rhetoric regarding terror. Listen to both. We know that a lot of the rhetoric we've heard from Donald Trump has been seized on by terrorists, in particular ISIS. Uh, because they are looking to make this into a war against Islam. We know that Donald Trump's comments have been used online for recruitment of terrorists. Hillary Clinton talks tougher about my supporters than she does about Islamic terrorists. She calls the patriotic Americans who support our campaign, many of them cops and soldiers, deplorable and irredeemable. Has she ever talked that way about radical Islam? Who won that argument? Uh, obviously, Trump won that argument. Trump, uh, you know, the idea that Trump would be a recruiter for ISIS or used as a recruiter. I mean, what he projected in both that soundbite and through that campaign is, is a tough leader who would stand up to these guys and basically uh, it's one of the great strengths he had that people underestimated. One of the first things Donald Trump has pledged to do is uh, repeal and replace Obamacare. In the last week, here's what both of them said about that. Hillary Clinton wants to double down on Obamacare and make it even worse. She wants to put the government totally in charge of your health care, repealing Obamacare and stopping Hillary's health care takeover is one of the single most important reasons that we must win on November 8th. So, things are going to change no matter what. The real question is, what kind of change are we going to have? And I don't think most Americans want the dark and divisive change that Donald is offering. Going back to the days when insurance companies could discriminate against everybody, not just people on the Affordable Care Act. Which message worked? Uh, the, uh, the repealing Obamacare, fixing it. And obviously, she was sort of the original architect of Obamacare. It has not worked for all Americans. The costs are going up. They're enormous. And I think to a certain extent, most people don't feel that they get in the doctors they wanted or the care they wanted. Yep. And it's costing away more money. So it was a good, good theme. And I think you, know, you, can't, you can't throw it out totally, but you need to fix it. And I think people saw him as a better fixer than her. Okay. Their closing arguments? Hear both. Watch this. In closing, just think about what we can accomplish. We're going to have the biggest tax cut since Ronald Reagan. We're going to rebuild our military and take care of our great veterans. We will save the Second Amendment, which is under siege. And we will appoint justices to the United States Supreme Court who will uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States. Hillary has been there for 30 years, and she's accomplished nothing. She's a candidate of yesterday, and we are the movement of the future. Stand up for what we can do together, because that's what this election ultimately comes down to. It's about our future. It's about who we are as a country. I will wake up every day in that White House trying to figure out what I can do to help you and you and you. America's best days are still ahead of us. 
Don't buy into that dark, pessimistic vision. We're going to build the future we want together, and we're going to prove once and for all that love trumps hate. Okay, a uh, good slogan for her, but ultimately the closing argument went to? Well, went to him, clearly. Uh, you know, he talked about cutting taxes, rebuilding the military, taking care of our veterans, uh, letting people keep their guns, uh, yeah. appointing tough Supreme Court justices. You know, that was his theme. Hers was kind of a lot of rhetoric, and obviously he always had this ability to kind of punch through uh, with the sound bites and what have you, as we as we have analyzed here week after week, uh, and I think to a certain extent that's why he won. Well, now comes the hard part. He, he's uh, said a lot of stuff, and now he's got to try to... He's got to govern, and we all wish him well. All right. Thank Ed you. Rollins, it's been, been wonderful doing this with you. I really uh, appreciate you've it. You've been fantastic. Well, thank you. And once again, to point it out, <laughs> of all the pundits, that man right there well, was correct. Well, thank you.